My name is Keith Prince. I am the Director of Financial Planning here at Haran Wealth, and with me today is Michael Hermes. Hello, everyone. My name is Michael Hermes. I'm a Vice President Wealth Advisor here at Haran. I'm a Chartered Financial Analyst, Certified Financial Planner, and National Social Security Advisor. Uh, my role at Haran is to help individuals navigate the financial complexities of retirement. Um, so whether that be navigating Social Security benefits, Medicare benefits, uh, or turning their investment accounts into uh, reliable income throughout retirement. So Michael, today we're going to discuss the difference between growth and value stocks. What is a growth stock? Yeah, the great question, Keith. Um, really what a growth stock is at its core is it's a company that has developed some sort of disruptive technology, if you will, and the expectations for growth of that company significantly outpace what the rest of the market is doing. Uh, most, com most commonly, uh, growth stocks happen to be technology companies. Um, growth stocks tend to be more volatile because they don't have a whole lot in the way of consistent earnings at the company. Um, and most uh, investors buy these growth stocks in the hopes that their stock price will rapidly appreciate versus relying on stable income generation through dividends. Um, one example of a growth company would be Tesla. Excellent. Very good. And then, so comparatively speaking, then what is a value stock? Yeah. Uh, if you kind of think more on the opposite end, uh, value stocks tend to be companies that have been around a long time. They have consistent, stable earnings and cash flow generation. Um, they tend to be a little bit more defensive in nature. So uh, think of maybe some consumer defensive companies like a Procter and Gamble. Um, but really at its core, a value company is a company that's trading at less than uh, its intrinsic value or what the market states that the company should be worth. Um, and you can do this looking at various uh, metrics such as a price to earnings ratio or price to book ratio on the company. Um, one example of a value company here in Cincinnati might be a Procter & Gamble or a General Electric. Very good. And then, so are there any stocks that could be considered both growth and value? Yeah, you, you can have a stock that is considered both growth and value, although not very common. Um, really, what that would entail is a company um, that is growing at rapid pace, however, is still maybe trading under its intrinsic value or what the forecasts are for the future of that company. Um, but yeah, we don't, we don't really run into it too often. Very good. So then, should investors choose one style over the other? Why or why not? Yeah, uh, ultimately, we believe that you shouldn't try and choose to invest in growth or value. Um, by doing so, naturally, you're, you're trying to time the market and when one might outperform the other style. And we're not big fans of trying to time the market. And for that reason, we encourage individuals to invest in a core fund, which combines both growth and value. Uh, one of the most simple funds out there being uh, an S&P 500 exchange traded fund. Very good. Well, Michael, thank you for clarifying these two different styles for us. You can find more out about this topic and other relevant wealth information on our website, haranwealth.com backslash insights.